So today we're gonna do a little throwback um, art kind of fun craft. It is all kinds of stuff that you can either find online or that you probably have sitting around your house. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do this kind of old school fun votive, can votive candle holder. And I'm also gonna show you how to get started on doing one in a bottle. So first of all, what you're gonna need is obviously you're gonna need tissue paper. So here's my tissue paper that I have here. Um, I have some scrappy tissue paper too that I used. I used um, paper cutouts. Um, paper cutters to get my cute little stars for today and to get my little circles but you don't necessarily have to do that you could just rip squares or cut squares cut out kinds of different shapes with the bottle you can see that I used my leftover um, circles but then I also used some other different um, pieces of paper that I had that I just kind of ripped up and glued on there so that's kind of how that works. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some good old fashioned Mod Podge. I don't know about the rest of you, Mod Podge smells like Girl Scouts to me. <laughs> it must be like a 70s childhood thing or something. Um, I did read online that if you don't have Mod Podge but you do have some Elmer's glue or some school glue, you can mix the two together and get kind of the same consistency. The problem is, is you won't get sort of the same archival um, keepsake kind of thing. The glue and the water mix will get a little bit old after a while and it will turn yellow and it might start to flake off. So if you just want to do kind of something fun and temporary with your kids, something easy to clean up, do the water and the glue. Otherwise, Mod Podge will be your best friend for this. Um, we happen to have satin today. Um, all Mod Podge usually will leave kind of a bit of a haze or um, cloudiness on the glass and if you don't like that you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a tooth or um q -tip <laughs> to um kind of wipe that off if you want it to be more clear i kind of like the hazy cloudy look that you got i think it just makes it look a little more fun so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pour my mod podge out into one of our little bowls that we have and you don't need a whole lot of it um, and you can always add more if you want. So there's just kind of a blob. And I'm just gonna kind of show you um, how to get started and then I will like, turn you loose and let you guys take care of it on your own. So I'm gonna do a little um, candle holder. And before we got started, I sat down and used my paper punch to punch out some little tiny stars. Um, when you are punching things out, out of tissue paper, it's better to have several layers of tissue paper kind of folded flat and then punch them out like that. Single pieces tend to rip, one or two pieces, it's not as nice and crisp. So the fatter you can get your bundle of tissue paper before you slide it into the paper cutter, the better off you're gonna be. So what I did, first of all, is I just take a little bit of Mod Podge and give it kind of a brush up and down. One, Stick it on and I kind of tap it down a little bit. Same thing, stick it on, kind of tap it down a little bit. Mix up the colors a little bit, tap it down. And as you um, start to move out, I like to brush over what I have already done. That kind of gives it a little bit more protection and it'll help things stick a little bit better. If you are one of those people who absolutely oops, must have everything covered up, keep going until you've got everything covered up. You can um, stick them on the edge like this and either bend them over or cut them off. I think on this one I bent them over, you can kind of see. Um, so that's the basics of what you need to do in order to make this craft. Now, if you want to make something really cool like our fairy light lantern like this, and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be gluing on little tiny stars until forever. It's much easier to use bigger pieces of tissue paper and glue it down. So I just have some scrap tissue paper. I'm just gonna rip it up. And you wanna make sure that you have a clean, dry surface to start with. Um, the, you don't want it to like wash it out and have it be damp or anything. You just wanna paste it on. Slap it. 
tap it on, give it a couple of taps so it stays down. Maybe grab another color, do the same thing. Kind of tap it down a little bit. A little bit of Mod Podge to smooth it out. And then you can just keep going. And like I said, the Mod Podge will dry kind of with a cloudy look to it. So that even if you're using some really uh, pale, pale pink things, like this one is a really pale pink color, um, you'll still be able to kind of see the color on it. So, so that's kind of fun. And just something that will kind of kill some time. It took me maybe 45 minutes to do both of them, but it was just me. So if it's you and a child or you and a couple of children, add maybe another hour of time onto what you're gonna do. And then for this one, I just popped in a little uh, votive, electric votive that I had, so you can kind of see what it looks like. This one has some fancy schmancy fairy lights in it, so you can get a sense of kind of what that looks like. And so that's it. That's your throwback craft for today. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you enjoy smelling the smell of Maj Podge and thinking back to being a Girl Scout long ago.